Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to use my um, stats page to best use the, the spreadsheet. So um, first I'm going to look at the picture page. Here's just going to be, um, there's not as much to um, et to change around in the picture page. It's just going to list all your pictures, who they're playing, like uh, um, their stats and so on. I'm not going to go through all the stats. I'm going to have, a, I'll have a glossary on the website of what all the stats mean. And here's your uh, projection file main thing I wanted to show you is if you go up to data and filter if you know how to if you run an auto filter on this you can pick what you want to um, drop down on so if you scroll all the way towards the end you're gonna see game time so if you're just running on certain games here's all the game time so say if we're looking at just the early games say the one two o'clock games it's gonna leave you just with the pictures from the early games so then what you can do once you have this picked, when you transfer your projections over it, then you can go over to say transfer our projections or transfer yours, and it's only going to transfer over these players to uh, to your optimal lineup pages. So then you can run optimal lineup just on the players for the games that you want. Because sometimes you want to just play the early slate or just the, the late games, and it's a quick way of of picking them other than going through all the teams and picking which teams that you want. And then even once you're in here. You can decide, like maybe um, you just want to see a certain stat, and you can just press. Um, say here's the opponent rank and strikeouts. You can just sort it. Say if you want the the highest one, press it here, and you can just press the button while you're on the on the column, and it'll sort it. And then you can see who who the worst one is, who's your best odds for getting the most strikeouts, and so on. And the same works for the batters. If you go over to the batters, if you do data, then filter, it's going to put the filter on. And all the way to the end again is the game time. You have to switch it for both. You can't just do the pitchers, it's not going to pick it up. So here's game time. So say you also you want to do the early slate, just the 1 and 2 o'clock games. So now you got all the players here that you want. But say it's close to. Um, See it's close to the game time, and you want it. To, you can run the lineups to see if they're in the lineups. I don't have them all run, but all you would do is you go on this lineup, you filter by the Y's, click OK, and here it's just going to give you the players that are in the lineup. Those are the only ones you care about, and the the ones that are actually playing at the certain game time you want. Then what you could do, you can go over here, you transfer your projections over, and then you're all set to run your optimal lineup. And the same thing works for, whoops, um, sorting. You can say you want to look at the last seven games, they're slugging. Who's at the highest slugging? Say you want to find who might hit a home run. You can look here, you can press the button and it sorts it down. Look, Freddie Freeman is really hot in the last seven games. Adam Jones. Or you could go out to the other stats. Whatever you want to do, it's got all the stats here. I'm not going to go through every one. But just go go through it, and um, this should be a great tool to help you um, run your lineups. But one thing to note is just this is still this is a tool. It's not your like end all for making lineups. It can definitely be. I mean, you can just go in here, press the optimal lineup after you go on our projections, and still do pretty well. But you have to make sure you check the weather, and you have to look up look at line um, injuries because I you might have. Three players playing from Atlanta, like, oh, Freddie Freeman's probably going to do good. But then all of a sudden, you don't realize that Atlanta's gonna most likely to be rained out. So you have to put that factor that into account. I mean, I do have a, a field here that says the weather. Like here, it says chance of thunderstorms. But that doesn't tell a whole lot. You still need to um, check Twitter, check whatever your um, MLB weather, uh, that stats that page that you look at. And same for injuries. They might... This, might pick a player who is in who got injured last night and is not going to play, so you need to look at that too. But for the most part, this is a great tool and it can uh, help save you a lot of time and getting your stats going and even help pick you some winners. Thanks.